as darkness fell here, so the wind started picking up. It's now gusting at more than 100 kilometers an hour down the North Queensland coast, and the rain began as well. But the fact that I'm still able to stand out here shows that this cyclone has a long way to go yet, because the predictions are that at its peak overnight in Australia, it will reach speeds of about 290 kilometers an hour. And that means that anything that's not fixed down will be blown off its feet. And a lot of things that are fixed down will go over too. Trees, electricity pylons are all expected to come tumbling down as this cyclone reaches its peak. Comparisons being made here with 2006's Cyclone Larry that hit this same part of Queensland. Although this storm is expected to be a lot stronger. Talk now of the comparison with a cyclone that devastated the city of Darwin in 1974. This storm could be that bad. These streets now pretty much deserted. People are either in evacuation centres or hunkered down in their own homes. The electricity to big parts of Cairns is down too. The one street light you may be able to see lit behind me is an emergency light. It's not connected to the main grid. But these winds getting stronger all the time and that peak expected with winds of nearly 300 kilometres an hour.